Hey everybody, welcome back to Sovereign Money. Here we are again in a brand new studio. I hope you like it. As you may know, the Bitcoin network is not anonymous. It's pseudonymous. While there are no identities attached to any Bitcoin wallet, all transaction data is publicly available on the Bitcoin blockchain. Therefore, if a wallet or an exchange address can be linked to you, the activity to and from that wallet will be attached to your identity forever. A popular way to break the transaction chain and set your Bitcoin free from public scrutiny is to use what's called a Bitcoin mixer. Bitcoin mixers have become somewhat controversial lately as more and more governments are limiting their citizens' private financial transactions. Additionally, mixers can generate really high transaction fees under certain conditions. So Bitcoin mixers right now are not an ideal solution for privacy. In today's video, I'm going to show you a way to reestablish your Bitcoin privacy using the Bitcoin Liquid Network as a virtual mixer. Transactions on the Bitcoin Liquid Network are kept completely confidential from everybody except the sender and the receiver. Transaction amounts and assets are invisible to any third party. While wallet addresses are visible, they appear to be in a different format than normal Liquid addresses. Also, third parties can view transaction fees on the Liquid network. Quick note, the techniques I described in this video are meant for privacy purposes only. All crypto transactions should be reported according to your local regulations. And while tax avoidance is perfectly legal, tax evasion is not. Also, I am not a Bitcoin forensic expert, and I don't pretend to be. So if you can find a way to track a Bitcoin transaction from the main chain through the Liquid Network and back to the main chain, Please let me know in the comments below because I tried for hours and I cannot find a way to track a transaction. Now, I don't have any fancy software like the IRS has or the NSA or CIA or whatever uh, law enforcement agencies, but uh, I really tried to track the transaction and I could not track the th transactions through the Liquid Network. That said, let's get to it. In this video, I'm going to be following a really neat graphic my team developed for me specifically for this video. Here's a representation of getting onto and off of the Liquid Network. So basically, you start at a Bitcoin wallet or exchange, and your Bitcoin is sitting here on the main chain. The main chain goes from here to here. All of this is the Bitcoin main chain, okay? then this area represents the liquid network chain. So you start with your Bitcoin on the regular main chain. And if you want to make it private, as far as I can tell, you send it through the liquid network and you can either put it in a liquid wallet out here or you can send it back to the main chain. And at that point, it becomes private Bitcoin and it breaks that chain of address connections that you would really have on the main chain. Okay, so you start here with a Bitcoin wallet or an exchange account. And what you're going to do is you're going to send your Bitcoin to the Liquid Network using what's called a peg in transaction. And I'm going to show you all of these things in a minute, but let's just go through the basic process. Your Bitcoin travels along the main chain and goes into a multi-sig wallet that the Liquid Network represents. Basically, it's just a multi-sig wallet sitting on the Bitcoin main chain. When you send Bitcoin to that multi-sig wallet, an equivalent amount of Liquid Bitcoin gets generated and sent to your Liquid wallet. At that point, it is confidential. All the transactions that you perform on the Liquid Network are confidential, only visible by you and the person or entity or wallet you're sending the liquid Bitcoin to. Back and forth, it's all confidential. Nobody but the two parties can see it. Now, there is a key that you can share with somebody so that they can see the transactions. But other than sharing that key, nobody can see the transactions, not even the people who are responsible for the multi-sig wallet. So you send your Bitcoin to this multi-sig wallet, an equivalent amount of liquid Bitcoin gets generated and sent to a liquid wallet that you have. And then if you want to, you can keep it in your liquid Bitcoin wallet for safekeeping. You can even put it in cold storage using the Blockstream Jade uh, hardware wallet. But if you don't want to do that, you want to get it back on the main chain, you can do that with a 
a procedure called pegging out. And these little icons here represent fees. There's a main chain fee to send to the multi-sig wallet. There's a liquid Bitcoin fee. And then there's the same pair of fees when you peg out. And that is the liquid Bitcoin that you owned is destroyed. An equivalent amount of Bitcoin is then released from the multi-sig wallet back to the main chain to the address that you specify. And that could be a wallet or if you want, it could be an exchange. But at that point, it's not private anymore. So ideally, it would go through the peg out procedure into a specific wallet that you designate for private Bitcoin only. You cannot mix public Bitcoin or KYC Bitcoin and private Bitcoin because then the private Bitcoin becomes unprivate, if you will. Okay, so that's the process we're going to go through and I will show it to you step by step. I'm going to be sending Bitcoin from the river.com exchange wallet or account to a wallet that holds liquid Bitcoin. And that's the peg-in transaction I was mentioning. What we need to do is we have to go over to the liquid Bitcoin wallet, generate an address, and then I'll show you how to create an address to send the Bitcoin to from the river.com exchange, right? So we kind of have to work backwards to the exchange from the liquid network. So first we're going to go to a liquid compatible wallet. In this case, I'm using the Blockstream green wallet. It's a hot wallet. And I'm going to generate a liquid address that I can use to send Bitcoin to. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Here we are at the Blockstream green wallet. And I have a hot wallet. And then I have uh, the Blockstream Jade, which is not attached to this at the moment. But I do have that hardware wallet. I'll do a review on that coming up soon. And we're going to enter the hot wallet. I've been messing around with this wallet, preparing for this video. So I, I have made some transactions to and from the Liquid Bitcoin account that I have here and to and from my on-chain regular Bitcoin account. So this is the Liquid account and this is my on-chain account. They're very easy to create. You just download this uh, wallet from the Blockstream website and then you can just simply create your keys and accounts, appropriate accounts for each of these assets. So what I need to do is create a receive address for liquid Bitcoin because we want the liquid Bitcoin to go from the river.com exchange to this wallet. So we're going to copy an address, generate an address and copy it. And then we're going to go to another application that's going to give us a sort of intermediate address. Now, remember I said that the Liquid Network is simply a multi-sig Bitcoin wallet sitting on the Bitcoin main chain. When your Bitcoin gets sent to that wallet, an equivalent amount of Liquid Bitcoin is created and sent to your Liquid wallet. And then the opposite is true when you peg out. That first transaction is called pegging in. And then when you release the Liquid Bitcoin and go back to the main chain, that's pegging out. You need a Bitcoin address, regular Bitcoin address, from that multi-sig wallet in order to send Bitcoin from the river.com exchange because it can't send it right to a liquid address. That process uses another application called Sideswap. And this right here is the Sideswap website, sideswap.io. And you can download a desktop application. I have one on my Mac, but I'm just going to use their website as a peg in and peg out apparatus. So what you do is you take your liquid address, which I just copied from my Blockstream green wallet. You paste it into this area down here, and we're going to be doing a peg in transaction. We are going to eventually deliver Bitcoin to this address that they're going to generate after we enter our liquid address. We press continue. Oh, by the way, super important. The minimum amount for a peg in is 0 0.0001 Bitcoin. The minimum amount for a peg out is 0 0.001 Bitcoin, liquid Bitcoin that is, not 0001. So that caught me one time. Anyway, we're going to have to send more than that. I'll paste that address in, continue. Now, it created an address using that multi-sig liquid wallet on the main chain. So we're going to take this address and go over to the river.com exchange and send regular Bitcoin to this regular main chain address. And remembering that we need to send more than 
0.0001 Bitcoin. But if you ever want to remove it off chain or back onto the main chain, off of the liquid chain, you need 0.001. That is 10 times this amount. So we're actually going to spit. We're actually going to send quite a bit more than that. So we're going to copy this address, go over to the river.com exchange. Here we are at river.com, and I'm going to send Bitcoin using this transaction. I'm going to paste that address, which is right here. And let me make sure that's the accurate address. Yes. Okay. I have $771 available, and we want to register that in Bitcoin rather than dollars because we want, let's say, 0 0.03. How much does that give us? I don't have that much. <laughs> 0 .00, 0 0001 is the minimum that we can peg out with, but there are fees involved in these transfers, so we're going to do 0 0.00. Five. Let's try that. Okay. No, we're going to do zero, zero, 002. And I'm going to send it to that address. Press continue. Priority, 66 cent fee, standard, two hours. I don't think so. I'm going to try a standard fee. No, I'm going to try a priority fee. What the heck? Preview send. Make sure the address is correct. I'm going to check that one more time. Okay, address looks good. Priority and fees, 66 cents. And I have to enter my one-time password. Let me get that. Okay, the send has been initiated. I'll come back after that transaction is complete. It has to go through the main chain, and then it has to go through a transaction on the Liquid Bitcoin network. I'll come back after all of that is done. Okay, here we are back at sideswap.io. I just wanted to show you something really quick. On the peg in, peg out page of the website, there is a record of the transaction that I just processed. It has been confirmed one time, but it hasn't been confirmed that second time to make it final. And this is on the Bitcoin main chain. Once that second confirmation takes place, the Bitcoin will be secure in the multi-sig wallet, and then the liquid Bitcoin will be released to your liquid wallet. I just checked the liquid wallet on Blockstream Green and there's nothing there yet. So I'll be back after the second confirmation. Okay, it appears that the peg in transaction moving Bitcoin from the main chain to the liquid Bitcoin network has been completed. So the as you can see, this screen has changed. The amount that's moved is the same. There's a transaction ID and a payout transaction ID uh, on the Liquid network. I believe this is main chain, and I believe this is the Liquid network chain. Let's go ahead and look at the Blockstream Green Wallet to see if that Liquid Bitcoin has been deposited. And here it is, received this much Bitcoin. Now, that's kind of odd because I sent 002 Bitcoin. But if you remember, there were fees involved. There was a main chain fee on the regular Bitcoin, to send it to the multi-sig wallet, and that was like 66 cents or something from river.com. And then there was also a liquid fee, and that's why I didn't get the full liquid amount. So there are some fees involved, but they are all quite low, very low actually. In fact, this one was about 0 0.00002293 Bitcoin. That is a low fee. All right, so I have received this Bitcoin. It is in my liquid Bitcoin wallet. And let's go through the forensics of this uh, transaction to see if we can follow it on the chain. So we're going to go back to River. We're Actually, we're going to go back to Sideswap, find the transaction, and see if we can follow it all the way into the liquid network. So this transaction ID is rep represents the main chain transaction. So we're going to go to that transaction on the Blockstream Explorer. I don't really like this one. So I'm just going to copy the transaction number from here. And then I'm going to go to mempool.space and paste that transaction in. Here we are. It was already all on there already. Okay, so the transaction is right here. And it looks like it went from this address, which is river.com exchange. And there's the amount. River.com has 
eight Bitcoin in its possession. Pretty good. Uh, I do not, but River does. And 0.2 of that was sent to me, to the, or at least to that multi-sig wallet, and then converted to liquid Bitcoin. There, here is the 0.2. This is the address. I'm going to click that address and see what we get there. This is the 8T76 address. It is right here. And it says it was involved in this transaction. And it has a total of 0.002 Bitcoin. So we can track that, but there is no out. It's only an in transaction. It received 0.2, but it has 0.2. So that wallet address has all the Bitcoin in it, and it's holding it on the main chain. Meanwhile, on the side chain, on the liquid chain, liquid Bitcoin was produced, and that is sitting in the Blockstream green wallet right here. You see how that works? Let's go back to that address. And what I'd like to do is look at the liquid transaction and see if that's trackable. And liquid addresses are not the same as Bitcoin addresses or main chain addresses. So let's go back to the green blockchain green wallet. We're going to click this transaction. We're going to get the transaction ID here and copy it. And we're going to go to a block explorer for the liquid network. It's called, funny enough, liquid.network. Tough name to remember. We're going to paste that transaction number in there. It's right here. And look, we can't see how much was transacted. It is confidential. It is absolutely hidden from anybody to see. And so we're going to assume this is the correct transaction, although we don't have any proof of that because we don't have any numbers. Here is the fee for the transaction, the liquid fee at least. And this is the receiving address, I believe. I'm going to click that and it doesn't say how much is in that wallet. So I have no idea. It does say there is one transaction. I'm going to go back and click the other address. And it says there's one transaction there as well, or UTXO. And uh, the amount in that wallet is confidential as well. So I have no idea which of those addresses contains the 0 0.002 or just shy of that Bitcoin. And it says confidential output, confidential output. So I already am lost. Now, if some of that 0 0.002 liquid Bitcoin was sent to another address and some sent to another address, you can sort of imagine how difficult this would be to follow. But what I'd like to do is send this Bitcoin, or at least a portion of it, out of the liquid network and into a private Bitcoin wallet. And to do that, you're going to send it from your liquid wallet to the main chain again using a peg out procedure. So what we need is sideswap.io. And we're going to refresh this page. Okay, we're going to peg out and we need a Bitcoin address from our private Bitcoin wallet. I'm going to copy one from Blockstream Green from my on-chain Bitcoin address. We're going to receive some Bitcoin, copy this address. Then we're going to go back to Sideswap, paste the address in here, continue. And we send our liquid Bitcoin to the following address. So this address is where we send our liquid Bitcoin to, and that will end up in our private on-chain Bitcoin wallet. So I'm going to copy that, go back over to Blockstream Green, go to my liquid wallet, create a send transaction, paste that address, and that's how we send liquid Bitcoin. We send, uh, right now, if I sent it all, it would be 0 0.00499 blah, 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 big liquid Bitcoin. One thing I forgot to mention is that it's very important to send the minimum amount of Bitcoin, liquid Bitcoin, to this address here, 001.001 or more, okay? So we have to keep that in mind. So let's go back to Blockstream Green. We're going to send 0 0.003 Bitcoin to that address. And the fee is 18 cents for the network fee. And then there's also going to be a Bitcoin fee on top of that. 
We're going to say next, check everything to confirm the transaction. Here's the liquid address. We're sending liquid Bitcoin 0 0.003, confirm transaction, and we're done. Now, the liquid Bitcoin network transaction times are super fast because the blockchain consists of one minute transaction times. That is, each block is processed in one minute. See, two minutes ago, three minutes ago, four minutes ago. So if I sit here and blather on for another minute, you'll watch this block get added to the blockchain. And all transactions after this point, after two confirmation blocks, are final. Okay? So that transaction will not take very long to get to the main chain, but then it gets added to the regular Bitcoin network transaction list and it gets put in this block and then I have to wait 10 minutes or so. So it will take a little bit of time to peg out. Okay. And then at that point, the Bitcoin is clean or private. I don't know what you want to refer it to. So that's basically it. I hope you were able to follow me. Let's go through this one more time just to make sure you got it. You create a liquid Bitcoin address and work backwards to your exchange or Bitcoin wallet. You do that using a liquid wallet and then you enter the address into the sideswap.io in the peg in transaction. Then you send the Bitcoin through that peg in transaction to your liquid wallet and you can certainly leave it there for whatever period of time you prefer. And then when you peg out, you work forward from the liquid network. You create a liquid address. And then when you peg out, you work backward again. You create an address to receive regular Bitcoin. Then you work backwards and into the sideswap.io application, paste the regular Bitcoin address, and it will create a liquid address that you send your Bitcoin to and it leaves the chain, leaves the liquid network back into your regular wallet or exchange. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys can find any break in privacy, please let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.